Welcome to Advanced Mixology. In this video, we're going to show you the history and story behind some of the world's most popular cocktails. So let's get straight into it. Martini. Martini is a famous cocktail for being made with gin, but there are different versions of it. For instance, the fruity apple tini or the lychee masked ones. The Vesper Martini is named after a character who asked for a vodka martini shaken and not stirred. The martini has a long and interesting history, going through many changes over time. But the version we know today of martini evolved from an Italian drink called the Martinez. It was first made with maraschino liquors like cherry sauce or vanilla extract mixed with gin or vermouth. And we have Mimosa. Mimosa is a simple cocktail made from champagne and orange juice. The name comes from its floral namesake, the Mimosa plant or Acacia di Obeda. Other variations can be found in different sparkling wines such as Spanish Cava or Rose wine instead. No one knows for sure who invented the mimosa, but it is believed that a bartender at Ritz Hotel in Paris has created this drink. And others say that director Alfred Hitchcock was behind this creation. Next is the mint julep. The mint julep is the official drink of the Kentucky Derby since the 1938. For many years, this refreshing cocktail has been enjoyed at every racing event until it was replaced by Old Forester in 2015. There is an interesting story about the term julep. This was first known as a drink to make medicines easier. In earlier times, the formulation of these treatments varied greatly, so it would need some kind of sweetener for its taste and swallowing ability might be thinking that mint julep is just another hot drink, but you know its origin. It started as an elixir to soup stomach illnesses in the southern part of America. The first mention of the mint julep was in a play and a short poem from 1770. Other sources describe it as having rum or whiskey mixed with steep leaves, which makes for an interesting drink. Modern day mint julep comes in the form of mint julep cups made with bourbon, mint leaves, powdered sugar, and a bit of water. Next up is Mojito. Mojito is a refreshing drink that originated in Cuba. The ingredients for this minty, cool cocktail was originally combined after some South American Indians got sick from drinking Aguardiente de Caña. Back then, the Aguardiente was a crude rum made from sugarcane and lime. It also contained mint to give it that signature flavor. The story of how this beverage got its name is as colorful and as imaginative as the drink itself. Some say it came from a Cuban spice, while others believe that it came from a Spanish word for a little wet. The modern day recipe of mojito consists mainly of white rum and lime juice, but you could also add mint or even switch it up by using coconut flavored rum instead. You might want to try adding some fruit like grapefruit for extra flavor as well. Next is Moscow Mule. We all know how popular Moscow Mule is, and what's more interesting about this drink is its story. This cocktail was created after friends came together to collaborate on a drink. John Morgan, Rudolf Canet, and John Martin thought of adding some lemon juice, vodka, and Jack Morgan's cup and bowl ginger beer and mix it all up. The drink was later named Moscow Mule because of the kick from vodka from Russia. John Martin came up with his own idea while drinking one during happy hour at work. He mixed brown sugar syrup plus some lime juice alongside Smirnoff vodka inside an ice cold beer mug. Next up, Negroni. Negroni is an easy to make Italian cocktail that only requires the help of Campari, gin, and vermouth. The drink originates from two counts. One is French and the other one is Italian. It all started when Count Negroni asked for something stronger than the Americano at his favorite, Cafe Cassoni 1919. The bartender Fosco Scarsella threw in an equal amount of Campari, Vermouth, and Gin. Next up, Piña Colada. The Piña Colada is a classic cocktail with a simplicity of its name to match. The name comes from strained pineapple and rum. 
made with an old-fashioned juicer to press out as much juice as possible before someone else could steal all of its goodness. The original recipe was created in the early 19th century by Roberto Cofresi, a Puerto Rican pirate. He introduced this refreshing drink to his crew, but later on died before sharing the recipe for this iconic cocktail. There are still doubts whether these claims could hold. In the 1950s, the New York Times mentioned a piña colada made using the ingredients similar to those used by Cofresi although it is not clear if that is his recipe. The 50th anniversary of Puerto Rico's most favorite cocktail, the Piña Colada, was celebrated in 2004. The honor went to Sila M. Calderon, awarded it as a gift from Ramon Monchito Marrero, one of his hotel bartenders back when he first created this delicious drink. The modern piña colada now is consists of white rum, coconut cream mixed together with pineapple juice to create that lovely slushy consistency. Then it is served up in a hurricane glass and garnished with a spear or wedge inserted into each glass. Next is the Sazerac. The Sazerac is a classic cocktail but it can be made more complex with the right embellishments. IBA recipes call for cognac and sugar cubes in addition to two dashes of Peixos bitters. In the 1850s, the Sasser cocktail appears to be made by Aaron Bird when he bought the Merchants Exchange Coffee House from Sewell Taylor and its importing Sazerac cognac. When Thomas Hardy became the owner of the Sazerac Coffee House in 1870s, the cocktail was made with rye whiskey. The cause is that the Filocera virus had devastated France vineyards and people sought solas wherever they could get it. And then we have the screwdriver. It's not just for shots anymore. Vodka is a very versatile spirit that can be mixed with almost anything because it does not have any aroma or flavor to blend in. This makes vodka perfect as an ingredient when spiking any other drinks. American oil workers put just water in their screwdrivers to keep it cold. But then vodka came along, and suddenly everything seemed better when they mixed it with orange juice for an extra kick. The fun fact is they use a screwdriver to steer the drink, and that's where they get the name of this drink. In the early days of cocktails, there was a screwdriver. 1944 and 1949, two magazines feature this concoction to be made out of vodka and orange juice, though it is not clear how they named themselves at that time either. In fact, many screwdrivers have some bizarre names, such as a slow crew, slow comfortable screw, and even slow comfortable screw up against a fuzzy pink wall. Then we have Sidecar. The Ritz Hotel in Paris is said to have created this cocktail when everyone thought that it is from the World War I. And that is according to two books written by Harry McAloney and Robert Vermeer. It is also listed under the Fine Arts of Mixing Drinks in 1948, published by David M. Bury, which contains about cocktails around the world and their history and origin. This drink embodies what it means for New Orleans culture, mixing spirits from different countries like cognac from France, curacao from Spain, and sugar rim glass showing America's creativity. This signature ingredient gives patrons at local bars an authentic experience. Next is Tom Collins. Tom Collins is one of the most refreshing drinks that you can get on a very hot day. It is made with sparkling water or soda mixed with gin. It is often served in Collins glasses, garnished with lemon slices to give it that extra zesty flavor. This cocktail is a classic and assuming drink first mentioned in the book 1822 by Harry Johnson. Well, how did it get its name? Nobody knows for sure, but one English writer says that you can beat an American invented cocktail with creativity. And last but not the least is the White Russian. White Russian is an interesting cocktail made with vodka, coffee liquor, and cream or milk. It is unclear which drink was made first, the Black Russian or its light-colored counterpart, but they are both delicious. The Russian in its name came from the Russian vodka used in this cocktail. Knowing the stories about these cocktails are very interesting and mind-blowing. And the best part about these cocktail drinks, everything tastes good.
So which one have you never tried before? Let us know in the comment section. Also, check out more of our featured contents by visiting our channel. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Advanced Mixology.